Glory Outreach Assembly is an organization that uh, God has provided us with an opportunity to provide policy change and be part of policy development of the religious organizations in Kenya. By virtue of being the General Secretary of the Federation of Evangelical and Indigenous Christian Churches of Kenya, that gives me an opportunity to interact with other like-minded and high-level leadership and becoming the voice of reason in the government to come become uh, the voice of the, of the churches in the government. And uh, lately, in the last few years, Kenya has faced the same, same challenges that other countries like Rwanda, where thousands of churches have been closed down and uh, other, 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 other nations where this conversation is going on, Zanzibar and other places. And so that places us as the Federation of Jericho Indigenous Christian Churches, Kenya, and especially myself as the General Secretary, and then with the chairman, at a platform where we need to engage government, where we need to engage other church leaders on policy development. We feel very disturbed as the citizens, and we would wish to ask you to suspend the political campaigns and stop raising the political temperatures and allow us the opportunity to serve the people. Kuna mambo ambao ni muhimu tunaweza ongea kama viongozi, na pia kwa mfano sasa tuko hapa, uh, tuna, tunashukua watoto ambao ni wanyatima tunawanza kuwapatia ma, uh, makao badara uh, ili waweze kuendelea na maisha yao mambo hayo ndio tunataka nyinyi viongozi muwe mnaongea uh, sana sana badala ya kutuambia sasa uh, ni huyu tunafuata uh, huyu si mzuri ama huyo ni, ni mbaya na wakati wa kampeni tuliwachagua nyote na kwa kuwapenda lakini sasa inafika wakati Unaanza kutugawanya, unaanza kutuletea confusion ambao hatutaki. Ni mpakalini tutaondoa eh, siyasa katika maeneo yetu ya nyandaro. Ukienda kaunti zile zingine, utakuta zimeenderea. Lakini leadership ya nyandaro wakati mwingi inakuwa nishira. Kwa maana watu badara ya wafanyia watu kazi, hao fiongozi wanaingia kwa siyasa. Hatutaki siyasa, tujegeeni barabara zetu ili mazao yetu ya kaweze kutokea. Ili ma maziwa yetu ikaweze kununuriwa vizuri. Igia mahali kwingi utakuta nyandarwa kwa ajile uongozi. Hakuna kitu kinaendelea. Atutaki siyaza wakati wa leo. Tudeyeni barabara zetu. Tuonyesheni vile ambavyo viazi vietu vita nunuliwa. Tuonyesheni vile ambavyo hao ma, watoto ambao hawana kwao. Hao ambao ni mayatima. Jinzi watakavi yokura. Jinzi ambavyo utakuja utuchukulia mtoto mmoja. Ukae uh, utuonyeshe jinzi ambavyo atarishwa. Na atakavyo erimishwa. Na lile jabo ritakuwa ramaana sana. Otherwise, kama hamta badirisha. Msija mkatarajia ya kwamba hawa ni, wana, uh, ni wananchi wale ambao muri wakuta mo, ile miaka muri kuwa munachaguriwa. Hamuta ingia kwa maana tunataka mazao, hatutaki siyasa. And uh, God has blessed us that we have been able to have an opportunity to speak even to the head of state. Um, we have yes, even accepted to give us a hearing. And we are, we are excited to know that uh, the church is not a threat as many people may think. But uh, as much as we need prayer, uh, we also need to engage those in the higher authorities. Uh, we played a very significant part in the election of the current government and we supported uh, President uh, William Ruto. And so today was a great opportunity for us to seek uh, that appointment with him to review and evaluate the two years of uh, the Kenya Kwanza government and to be able to see whether what we agreed on uh, in, uh, during the plea election has happened. We are very delighted that he has accepted to meet us uh, and we were also here to air our concern about the current bill that uh, has been uh, the current bill about the, the churches. We, we wanted to make sure that we have an opportunity to, uh, to, to request the president uh, to hold on his signature to the bill uh, before appending to it because it is, can infringe on the religious freedoms of the Kenyan people whom we represent as the federation. We are delighted that we have a certain appointment when we can continue with that conversation. Yes. And, uh, and GOA is also blessed to have legal experts so in the board. 
So we, we are seeking that legal advice. We are engaging the president from, uh, uh, from, from a higher level. Because some of these policy issues requires not only uh, the goodwill of the people, but also sometimes they require also political goodwill. So that if, if we get a hearing, we are able to explain things better than people perceive them to be out there. Of course, we have a very delicate situation dealing, to deal with as Kenyan national leaders, where we have some pastors who have not really portrayed the correct image of what church is. We have had deaths. In Shakahora, we have had people cheated and blackmailed. We have had uh, cults that have prevented their people from taking medicine. We have had cults that prevented their people from going through census. They do not want to be counted. We have had uh, uh, cults that prevented their people from family planning and many other things. So for us to try and strike a balance between those elant cults and, 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 and the government's role in protecting the people from, uh, from, 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 from exploitation, that has become a very delicate balance. But the problem is, is that uh, most of the people in government, they are not necessarily religious people, they are not necessarily Christians. So when it comes to formulation of policy, um, they go extreme, overboard, to the other side, to the extent that the religious freedoms of the people feel very threatened. And, uh, but we are glad that God has given us a breakthrough, um, both on, to influence the policy and, uh, and also to have a conversation even with, uh, with, uh, with, with the president from a, to seek political goodwill as much as we seek the legal framework and, and freedoms. We do understand that freedoms comes with responsibilities and it is our lawless leaders to balance that. Uh, so very excited to have had that audience, uh, an opportunity to present uh, the views and the concerns of the Kenyan people, especially evangelical readers and indigenous church readers. And we are very grateful for that opportunity.